But tonight's shock and horror in Ecuador. A presidential candidate assassinated in the country's capital city just days before the election. At least 12 gunshots heard in the video as Fernando Villavicencio entered a vehicle surrounded by bodyguards. Las mafias tienen los días contados. Villavicencio was running on promises to fight organized crime and corruption. Promising to take down gangs in a rally speech just moments before he was shot and killed. And just days ago, una gravísima amenaza de uno... saying death threats had been sent to him and members of his staff. The nation's attorney general office confirming nine other people, including a candidate for the legislature and two police officers were hurt in the attack. Today, police sharing images of the pistol they confirmed was used in the attack, as well as photos of the alleged six suspects that were arrested. An additional suspect was killed in a shootout with authorities. Es un crimen político. Ecuador's current president calling the killing a political crime akin to terrorism and saying it was an attempt to sabotage the election, still set to begin next weekend. The nation now under another state of emergency, just two weeks after one was declared over the assassination of a mayor in the coastal city of Manta and deadly prison riots across the country. The constant violence between rival gangs inside prisons have left scores of inmates dead, and prison guards even held hostage. Now, the nation again under a period of mourning as it fights a war against organized crime. And Guad joins us now from our Telemundo Center in Miami. Guad, what do we know about the death threats this candidate says he received? And have we heard from the U.S. in terms of this particular assassination? Ellison Villavicencio disclosed that the threats came from a known criminal who's currently incarcerated and is believed to be the head of the Sinaloa cartel in Ecuador. And the president of Ecuador has now confirmed that FBI agents are on their way. They should be arriving in the next few hours uh, to assist with the investigation. Ellison? Guad Venegas, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.